around the world. But you can also connect directly to the best Hawk players around the world. And thanks to the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection, you can chat on voice over IP at the same time. Perhaps best of all, DS is also getting its own exclusive Zelda title. The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Picking up where Wind Waker left off, you'll now use your DS stylus to direct sailing, swordplay, and even the path of your boomerang. The DS is set to soar to the next level. In all, there will be more than 100 new games from DS from now until the end of the year. Take a look. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Satoru Iwata. Thank you and good morning. When I became Nintendo president, we decided on new goal for our company. Expanding the total number of people who play games. In order to do this, we needed to target not only current gamers, but two different types of consumers. Those who once played, but who had lost interest, and even those who had never played before. How would we do this? The industry has always tried to improve in the same direction with games that are more gorgeous and more complex. But in order to approach labs or former gamers and non-gamers, these types of games cannot serve our purpose. The logical solution is to reinvent the relationship between player and game, the game controller interface. We believe this approach can appeal to a much broader audience but also excite core gamers. This is important because core gamers always represent our most important audience. Our first implementation was Nintendo DS. Like many disruptive innovations, at first, it confused some people. But these people began to understand when they started to pet their puppies with a stylus and talk to them through the microphone. Next in Japan, 
we launched the first of the brain games. They have already been played by millions of people who never tried a video game before. Many people in our industry thought these consumers were impossible to reach. But now, the trend is spreading to the Western world. So, how do we continue this strategy with we? One hand control with the Wii remote is just like, like, just like the touch screen of DS. It breaks down a barrier to non-gamers and lapsed gamers. For anyone, it is comfortable. In addition, most lapsed gamers have wonderful memories of games they used to play. The virtual console aspect of Wii will bring them together again. And the virtual console will also act as a living laboratory for a simple, intuitive games. Using the creative approach with the Wii remote control and the business model of the virtual console, maybe a game like Tetris can be feasible once again. In the past 20 years, as game systems improved in functionality, there were also downsides. Among, those, among these, the startup time before gameplay begins is growing longer and longer. I have been planning, developing, and playing games for a long time, and I still love all of this. But these days, I am busier, busier than ever. And if I have to wait 30 seconds or 40 seconds or more for a game to load, often I get frustrated, and sometimes I just cannot wait. And now that I know I can instantly stop or start playing my DS by just closing or opening the top, I think I am spoiled. Maybe this has happened to you, too. If serious gamers find these delays frustrating, how can we ever expect the mass market to show more patience than we do? Unless we change, we can never increase the gameplay population. The Wii console will also help solve this problem. It can power up virtual console games and applications like our Opera web browser saved to flash ROM, almost as fast as telephone or television, in just a few seconds. And let me describe one more hardware feature. No game console, no matter how powerful, serves any purposes when it is turned off. So, we designed our machine to provide owners a variety of services even when it seems like it is turned off. We will become the system that never sleeps. Using a design called We Connect 24, the console automatically enters standby mode without the fan running, but still operating key functions and using about the same power of a miniature light bulb. Importantly, this means the Wii console can be constantly connected to the internet. For you hardcore gamers, this means developers can push a new weapon or a vehicle or a level to you even while you sleep. For beginning gamers, just starting with something like Animal Crossing, anytime the console is in standby, 
they may return to find that a friend has visited their village and left a message or a gift. And other developers will configure their games so that players will receive the game elements or information that the designer wishes. And programmers won't need to write a single line of code. Networking software is included in the hardware. And developers can decide to add these functions at any time. What we are aiming for is a system that is new every day. Then, finally, the most difficult job is to reach people who have never played before. To approach them, we need to remove several walls. New controllers and the virtual consoles are important, but most important is software that these people will really want to play. These games would allow Aqua gamers and non-gamers to happily and immediately compete against each other. What kind of game can do that? Among the examples you will play tomorrow is Wii Sports. This is a combination which will include tennis, golf, and baseball in one package. It will be available on launch day. Beginning players will find control with the Wii Remote intuitive and appealing. Serious gamers will find it a surprising way to attempt something they already done many times before. Expanding the game audience with Wii means increasing, increasing the number of people in any household who are involved with games. Today, there are people who play and people who do not. We will help destroy that wall between them. Regardless of age, gender, and game experience, anyone can instantly understand we. And we can provide anyone with fresh, new experiences. Every day, there is something new for everyone, every day. This is our answer. Thank you very much. Right now, there are 3,000 of you watching here in the audience and a lot more online. And we'd like nothing better to invite you all up on stage to play. While we can't do that for everyone, we can make that happen for one person. As you know, we've been running an online sweepstakes with our good friends at AOL to choose the first player in the world to get his or her hands on the controller. The random selection has given us three grand prize finalists, and they're all here with us today in the Kodak Theater. Mr. Miyamoto himself has chosen the winner at random, and he's put the name inside an envelope, just like it's always done up here at the Academy Awards. Now, please join me in welcoming Mr. Shigeru Miyamoto with the announcement of the final sweepstakes winner. Thank you, Reggie. <laughs> but before I pick the winner, I should explain how we will play. Tennis, anyone? Control is simple and intuitive. Even your mom can play. Just grip the Wii remote like a tennis racket. I'll show you. 
Let me explain in Japanese. 